KDM's first high-performance ATV, the DS450, is a machine full of innovative features. Although it wasn't motocross width, its unique chassis design made it one of the best handling stock 450s on the market. The innovation begins with Can-Am's Alltech frame design. Constructed of aerospace grade aluminum, the frame features a unique dual pyramid shape to reduce weight while maximizing strength. To prevent the inherent weak spots caused by welding, Can-Am's frame is held together by a unique lock bolt system already used in the aircraft industry. Further improvements in handling come from Can-Am's inverted front disc brake system. With a caliper located on the inside of the disc, it moves the ball joint and kingpin deeper inside the wheel, minimizing scrub and steering feedback. In spite of these innovative features, narrow widths and a lack of bottom end power meant that riders had a long way to go to get their DS450s ready for the racetrack. Wanting their customers to be able to have machines they could race right off the showroom floor, Can-Am added the new DS450XXC and DS450XMX models for 2009. Last year we had one DS450X, this year we have two. We have the DS450X XC, uh, this is our cross country version, and we also have our new MX version, uh, the motocross version. Uh, both of them are great bikes, equipped with all the features you add if you were going to go out like this MX bike. We're dealing with a plus one inch steering step, anti vibe mounts, plus two inch uh, chrome ollie A arms. They're caster and camber adjustable. We have KYB Kashima coated shocks with 10.7 inches of travel, triple rate spring, crossover, um, everything you'd need to go. The rear, we're running 10.7 inches of travel. Again, KYB Kashima coated shock, uh, remote reservoir. Uh, some of the other things on the MX bike, we've got these new configurable Nerf bars. So you have your standard Nerf bar, you've got this little kick out here that you can remove if you want. You've got aluminum heel guards you can pull out if you want. Plus, what I think is really cool, we're running 18 inch in the rear, 20 inch in the front, ITP Quad Cross MX Pros. Uh, the rim in the front is a T9 GP ITP wheel and in the rear we're running the uh, T9 Track Lock. So we got bead lock rims in the rear, it's 50 inch rear axle and the rear axle is our hollow rear axle, plus uh, it's configurable. So you can narrow it down from 50 down to 46, which is a hot ticket right now, depending on how you want to accelerate out of the turn. So uh, there it is, plus it comes with a tether cord. You know, So if you're gonna be racing at the amateur ranks, you wanna go out and run CBA class, this is your guy, just uh, go out, find a pipe, and uh, you're ready to roll. Are the A-arms different for 2009? Yeah, and especially here, you know, what we're dealing with here is this uh, new Plus 2 Chrome Ollie A-arm. This is available uh, just for the, the X. Just in the MX, MX, just on the MX version. Um, new, you know, on the XC, what we did is we kept our, uh, our uh, forged aluminum A-arms, and on the XC, uh, what sets it apart, it's caster adjustable up on the top. Plus here for tires, we ran with the ITP whole shot GNCC tire. So a six ply, real aggressive tire. Plus you'll notice the track lock wheels front and rear. So you're fully wrapped with bead locks. You got a great fully aluminum, three millimeter aluminum uh, skid pan, all the chassis, plus the rear. Is this a setup similar to you'd find on the pro level? Is this Very similar to the pro level. I mean, you're not dealing with the same motor those guys are running, but uh, You've got everything on the bike ready to go. You've got bark busters, you've got your skid plate, plus this also comes with the configurable rear axle, so you can go between that 46 to 50 inch. Front end comes stock at 46, but the rear you can widen a little if you'd like.